हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम सेफ दिस इज अ शॉर्ट वीडियो इन विच वी विल टॉक अबाउट पाइथन लेटेक्सीफाई लाइब्रेरी सो बी विथ अस टिल द एंड एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लेट गेट स्टार्टेड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इट हैपन वेयर वी वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड अदर कोड लॉजिक एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन अप्रोचेज बट इट मे आईदर वोंट हैव प्रॉपर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन or the written code is not clean so it might complicate the readability of code that's what google come up with a latexify library where we can generate description of python function based on latex math notation for those who don't know what latex is latex is a document preparation system used for the publication of scientific document like all or most of the research paper are written in latex one thing important here is that latexify is implemented as a rule based system which is based on traditional parsing technique let's get quickly handy with it for that jump to the collab first install the latexify library type pip install latexify pi import some library import latexify import math as well to use the math function in code let's take an example to understand it create a function quadratic to calculate the positive roots of quadratic equation so the equation is minus b plus root under b square minus 4 ac by 2a test it with input values as we normally do to a python function it work fine and we get minus 1 as a root now to get the mathematical expression of your code first define the latexify dot function above to this function as a decorator as we are doing in memory and time profiling video i suggest you to watch that video to get an understanding of decorator to print the expression just call the function name without passing any parameter type quadratic run it here you see we get mathematical expression of our code and we can use this in our documentation as well basically latexify dot function is a decorator function that wraps your function to pretty print them as corresponding latex formulas so jupiter recognize this wrapper and try to print latex instead of original function we can also use with latex as a decorator function to get the mathematical expression of your code instead of a function copy the above code and paste it into the new cell replace function with with underscore latex execute it here you see we get the exact same expression as above sometime we need a discriminant value of quadratic expression separately so let's rewrite the equation and split the equation into multiple assignment variable define the latexify function decorator and run it
look we didn't get the expression as above actually when we split the equation into multiple assignments then it parts as it is so to reduce the expression and remove the assignment references we have to pass a reduce assignment flag as true in the latexify function decorator type reduce assignment equals true again run it look we get the quadratic expression as above latexify also support expression decorator where it is exactly the same as function decorator but it print the function without its signature to understand copy the above example and paste it into the new cell replace with latex with expression in the decorator now run it here you see we didn't get the reference signature we only get the root of equation latexify also support a wide variety of math function like sum logs product sign cos etc let's take an example of cardinal sign function to understand it create a function cardinal sign Define the latexify decorator same as earlier. Also call the function name. Run it. We got the math sign function in the expression. We can also define some of the Python built-in function like absolute summation etc. Create an absolute function. Here we get the mathematical mod symbol in the expression for python absolute. Let's do the same for summation as well. Here we get the mathematical sigma symbol for python summation. Latexify also have factorial function symbol. Just define the factorial. And we get the mathematical factorial symbol. Latexify also support various math variable symbols like alpha, beta, gamma, rho, mu, etc. Let's create a random function where we use multiple math variable symbol. Define the decorator and call the function. Execute it. Look, it didn't convert the variable name into math symbol. To do so, we have to pass use math symbol flag as true in the latexify function decorator. Type use math symbols equals true. Again, run it. Look. It convert variable name into math symbols. Create another random function with some other math variables.
also define the decorator same as above here it also convert the variable names into math symbol as well the only limitation with math symbol is it only support 46 different types of math symbol so if you try to put any other variable apart from this 46 it is not able to convert it into a symbol it show as it is another amazing thing about latexify is that if you create multiple if else statement it also convert into mathematical expression let's create a simple function to find nth fibonacci number Check for Fibonacci of 5. Everything look good. Now define the latexify decorator and call the function name. Here you see latexify convert if elif statement to our base condition of math expression and else condition to a recursive expression. We can also convert set operators into expression. Define an example. Take all operators into the same function for example purpose. Define the decorator and run it. Look, we didn't get any changes in the symbol. It is treated as simple math operator instead of set. We exactly have to do the same as we did for math symbol. We have to pass use set symbol flag as true. Again run it. Here you see it convert the AND operator into a set intersection and OR operator to the union and it did same for other operator as well create a random function where we use nested function look we get the expression according to the function we define but by using long function and variable name the expression look little bit strange let xify allow you to replace function and variable name with a unique identifier by defining the key value pair dictionary instead of doing direct changes into the function create a dictionary identifier in the key put the function or variable name in a string format where you want to replace it in value put the identifier name whom to replace with this also in a string format do the same with other identifier as well Once we define all the identifier in dictionary, we have to pass this dictionary as input to the latexify decorator. Type identifier, then key value dictionary name. Run again. Here you see we get simplified version of our nested function, where it replaces the function and variable name with identifier we define in dictionary. You can also do the same with all function or variable names.
that's all from my side using latexify is extremely quick and easy this library can be significantly helpful to the researchers who write code for scientific publication or people who want to document their work i hope everything is clear to you and you have basic understanding of latexify for queries or any doubt please leave a comment below see you in next video till then happy learning